Oxford United. Now, Charlton come into this game on a free game win streak and Oxford have lost two on the bounce from 2-1 consecutive defeats against Walsall and bottom of the league, Berry. So Charlton come into this game as the without a doubt favourites, but I do think that this will be a very interesting game with a lot of goals and some spectacular trickery from Charlton's new players. I'm looking forward to seeing new players, the likes of Sully Kakai and Michael Zyro in action today. Stephen Mavadidi can continue his amazing form alongside Tariq Fosu because that mavadidi Fosu partnership is absolutely insane. Joe Rebo can't wait to see him in action. I think Jason Pearce and Patrick Bauer are back uh, following. They were meant to be ready for the Blackpool game, but because that we didn't play last week, we will now be even more ready to play against Oxford today. So Charlton will have the upper hand in terms of fitness, and I can't wait for this game. But I'll make my way down to Charlton train station in the minute. I'm meeting my dad and possibly a few others, I'm not too sure, but I'm gonna make my way uh, there soon. But I'll see you all there. Got my Charlton shirt on ready, and yeah. Come on you Reds, let's beat Oxford and keep this run going and we could actually possibly end up fourth today, I think. I haven't checked the league table, but let's do this, come on. Right, my bus just broke down. Wicked. Right, so the team news has just been announced. Uh, yeah, and uh, overall, it's the usual team really, quite a positive one. Uh, Foss who's in the team, Stephen Mavadidi. Mark Marshall, no Michael Zyro or Sally Kakai, which was a little bit concerning. Uh, but they're on the bench, so it's good to see them. Joe Rebo's also on the bench, which is a bit alarming. Jake Forster Kasky takes his place. Uh, I don't know what he's doing there, but I honestly think Rebo should be starting. He's in good form recently. Harry Lennon's in the defence, and uh, you'll never guess who's up front. Yeah, Josh McGuinness. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm less than pleased to see him in the team. It's just... He needs to score today. If he doesn't score, then I don't know what to think about him, honestly. Because it's becoming a joke. But let's just see if he can try and fix his form. Because right now, it's not going well for anything. But... Hopefully Stevie Mavadidi can rack up the rack up the goals today and hopefully it should be a good performance. Right, so I actually didn't realise that when I was back home I didn't give a score prediction. And to be completely honest with you, I don't know if it, I don't know what the score's gonna be. I think it's gonna be quite an interesting game. But I'm feeling a 2-1 win to Charlton. But I do think it'll be interesting, a lot of shots, and it should be a difficult game, but I think Charlton will come away with the win. Let's just hope they come off. I have to say I'm running out of words to describe this lad. Oh. Oh. 
Duncan. Go on. Go on. Uh, unlucky. Unlucky. Right, so it's half time, Charlton nil, Oxford nil. And it's been a pretty even contest so far. Uh, Stevin Mavadidi had a great chance earlier on. Uh, edge of the box shot, sh shot straight at a keeper. Um, then a few minutes later, Oxford had a great chance where literally the ball was played in about three Charlton defenders around him. And he's taken a shot, not even looking at the goal. And he ended up hitting the underside of the bar. Very close chance. Jade Silver and Harry Lennon have been struggling a lot on the left side to cover the cover the wingers on the left hand side they're getting too much room and they keep coming through like in the first start like, literally just at the start of kick off it happened you can see in the video but yeah it's been pretty even so far Charlton have had a few chances then but they're looking a bit shaky in the defensive third Josh McGuinness has been winning everything in the air so far and uh, had a very good cross earlier on in the game but it came to nothing but yeah pretty even with not many much chance happening nil nil Let's just hope that Charlton can bring the class towards the fans in the second half. Come on, Charlton! having an absolute shocker of a game today. He's been making countless mistakes at the back and he's just made a, another mistake that could have cost us, but he's very lucky, very lucky. Zyro's coming on, this is bad news for Mavadidi, but now we get to see what Zyro's made of. Come on! Mavadidi's coming off. Oxford have equalised and uh, looked like quite a good goal actually. Played the ball in on the edge of the box, he's had a shot and uh, saved it, uh, scored sorry. But we now need a goal to secure and see this game out. Come on Charlton!
I don't even know if that guy was even looking at the camera at the time, but the looks he was giving me was absolutely priceless. And it's 2 1 to Charwood. Come on! Oh, we're in. Right, Oxford have equalised again. Went down the wing on the right-hand side. Put the ball in the box. The first set of players missed it, but then the second set of player got it in the back post, and it's 2-2. Told you it'd be an interesting game, but that's my prediction gone. I do not believe that. 3-2 Oxford. Another great strike though, pulled back on the edge of the box, shot on the edge of the box and he's gone in, but... Oh, for God's sake! Absolutely disgusting. I think you need to come. Shut the fuck up! There were so many factors as to why we lost that game, and I still don't understand how we lost. Just ridiculous as to how we lost that. So the first half was quite an even contest between the two sides. Both of the teams had an equal amount of good chances. Mavadidi and Fosu looked deadly and Josh McGuinness looked like a much improved player and I felt he was one of our best players in the first half. The second half rolled around and Charlton had even more chances, more free kicks, corners, more crosses into the box. We were all over them until eventually Ahmed Kashi scored his first Charlton goal of the season. Uh, good shot, keeper saved it, but it ended up in the bottom corner. Then Stefan Mavadidi came off with an injury. Uh, God forbid that it's a serious injury. Um, and then he and the new boys Kai Kai and Zyro came on, and I felt that Mavadidi was one of the main reasons as to why Oxford were able to get back in the game, and their first goal was a pretty good goal as well. And then when Josh McGuinness got the equaliser, the stand went mental. Everyone went mental. And then everyone started chanting Super Josh McGuinness. I didn't, uh, for good reason, because it was his first goal in 15 league games. And I don't want to see people get too carried away, start singing his name immediately, because he's only got one goal to his name in recent games. So he needs to keep consistency and then I'll start to believe in him more and start singing hopefully this is the beginning of his road to redemption in the Charlton squad then Tariq Fosu was subbed off and that obviously was one of the key factors as to why Oxford were able to get back in the game but the main factor of all of them was our defence Jada Silva and Harry Lennon were unable to control the wingers on their side of the field and they were constantly threatening them too much. Esri Konza looked a little bit out of foot today. Um, I felt he could have done a little bit better. Chris Solly was mixed today. I feel he could have done better as well. Uh, and obviously Oxford's last two goals were entirely blamed on the defence. And yeah, that's those are probably the main reasons why we lost that game. And I still can't I can't get made around how that's possible. In terms of the league situation, Charlton remains seventh, but are three points clear of Peter Brown Portsmouth and are two points behind Bradford. And because of their demise down the league table, Bradford lost to Oldham today. They just, I don't know what's happening to the Bantams. They just keep losing too many times and it's helping us out. But it isn't really because we're not capitalising on the results from the teams above. So really against Doncaster next weekend we need to give it our all against Bradford and we need to get the result and then obviously on Tuesday night after that we have Bradford at the Valley I hope to be attending that one so it should be a good game to watch I think that's the best game we've seen to this season if I go to Bradford but I'm going to leave it as that today guys I hope you enjoyed this vlog Charles Athletic 2 Oxford United 3 was the full time result this has been Tyler Rollinson have a nice day and I will see you all later